it's time to dance. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to ATV. I'm Saad Asfour, your host for this evening. I have very special guests with me tonight, Hannah Itani. Hannah is here today to talk to us about the League of Women Voters and the importance of it, uh, of getting involved in our civic duties. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about Hannah. Hannah Itani was born in Beirut, Lebanon. She moved to the Bay Area in 1974. She has enjoyed getting to know a variety of people and places through the Bay Area as a real estate agent since 1987. Hannah served on a variety of interfaith bridge groups, and she has been volunteer at various nonprofit organizations since 1982. She was a member of the local chapter of Women of the World, WOW organization and was volunteer with American Cancer Society. In 1982, she taught Arabic for adults and children and opened a completely volunteer run Arabic school. In 1984, she served as the president of League of Arab American Women. In 1985 through 1989, she served on the board of NAAA, the local chapter. In 1989, she joined the board of Arab American Congress of Silicon Valley and helped in starting the Arabic television program and served for several years. In 1996, she helped in founding Arab American Community Center. Hannah joined the League of Women Voters in 2007. Hannah enjoyed attending a great decision discussion since 2008. Hannah also was elected as the president of year 2014-2015 for the League of Women Voters in the Southwest Santa Clara County Valley, serving Los Gatos, Saratoga, Montessorino, and Campbell. Hannah is currently serving as a director of two private investments company, and she is a member of National Association Professional of Women. Hannah, she en enjoys tinkering in her garden, being outdoor and swimming. She loves to travel, cook, and watch international classic movies. Hannah resides in Los Gatos with her husband, Munir, and she also have three children and seven grandchildren. Hannah, this is amazing. You've been busy. God bless you. You guys, you. you've been uh, as busy as maybe Hillary Clinton, I oh. can say. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, no. uh, This is really a big achievement, and Thank I'm you. just so proud to be here with you today. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your success and how were you able to mingle your lifestyle, uh, uh, busy lifestyle like this, uh, with inside the house, with children and husband and kids and grandkids, and uh, political life, your uh, your uh, non organization, non organization, uh, prof non profit organization programs, and uh, your other volunteer works. Can you tell us how you were able to manage all that? Well, uh, before. Uh, when I was raising my kids, I was in, with the American uh, community very involved through my kids, their schools, activities, and their, uh, there, are, there were many programs to get involved with uh, sports and uh, social. And uh, um, so I uh, became familiar with uh, many of the organizations, and I felt passion to be involved with the American Cancer Society and uh, the uh, I was 
very interested in uh, meeting other ladies from other uh, countries mm -hmm. international because I felt that uh, we are very fortunate we live in the Bay Area where it's a melting pot and everything is here mm -hmm. so I the whole world I don't need to go anywhere the whole world is in front of me and uh, I, grasp, I grasp the opportunity to uh, be involved in these activities. So was it easy to, to communicate or did you have any difficulties in the beginning? No, it was... Uh, Were you accepted? I was accepted. With the American culture? I was. I Beautiful. mean, the, uh, our community here is, as I mentioned, melting pot, accepting everybody. So one more question is like, if you stayed in your own country, do you think you were able to achieve as what you achieved here? <laughs> is this uh, a tough well, question? Uh, well, this is the unknown. Uh, would have I achieved uh, the same levels? Uh, probably, probably. I'm married to a very uh, intelligent, uh, person that supports me and uh, encourages me so probably so what's what's your motivation why did you choose to do this to this direction to do which one the uh, being a volunteer in nonprofit organizations yes. I thought it's very rewarding uh, it uh, there is nothing like uh, giving and the reward is there when you see achievement mm -hmm. So really, it is, uh, I, I felt the, uh, in everything I did, I was enjoying it. And mm -hmm. it's good to do what you enjoy and to love what you're doing. So, so basically, it, to become effective, especially being from Middle East in a different community, is you have to really love it and enjoy it and give it from your heart. Well, I... Uh, I took what's best from America and what's best from our uh, uh, countries that we came from and put them together to proceed with my own life here. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was uh, very effective to hold on to the principles before and add to it and improve on it. Okay, so I understand uh, you spent about 22 years of volunteering and helping all this uh, organization and you were a real estate agent a successful one and now you're throwing that and you're starting uh, you are the president which is really nice but you threw away about 22 years of work behind your back and uh, you are stepping forward with LWV can you tell us why is this amazing organization well, you're making me younger. It's 32 years. <laughs> it's 32, not 22. 32 years. Okay. Uh, I'm not throwing it away. It's all an addition. Uh, I'm, I'm still volunteer. I'm in uh, several boards as an advisor. Uh, but this, the League of Women Voters, this is an opportunity that uh, <coughs> completed my uh, experience circle. Uh, I was involved with family and friends and uh, community on many uh, different issues, but the local government I was not involved with. Mm -hmm. So really, this, complete, uh, this is an addition to my civic duty. At this time uh, of my life, when all my kids are grown up and married and have their own children, I found uh, that I really can dedicate myself to help and give back to all the goodness I got from this country. Okay, that's beautiful. So what is LWV? Can you explain to us? It's the League of Women Voters. And I am the president of the League of Women Voters of Southwest Santa Clara Valley, which is serving Los Gatos, the town of Los Gatos and the cities of Saratoga Monteserino and Campbell. The League of Women Voters is the, among the most respected and impact organizations in the country. And our members uh, 
make a difference and create positive and lasting uh, uh, change in our community. Mm -hmm. It's a group of women and men, and it is a nonprofit political organization, nonpartisan, meaning we do not support or oppose any political party or any political candidate. Mm -hmm. But we study and uh, search uh, deeply into issues of uh, that we advocate if we support and uh, we do what's good for the citizens. We search in different, in all different areas, talking about housing, school, uh, uh, law enforcement, uh, uh, seniors, uh, child care, uh, juvenile justice, uh, anything you, that affects the citizen we uh, try to uh, look into it and see what is, what can, how can we make things better. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I became president in an election year, so I'm very busy. I'm we sure. have, we're very busy in preparing many, many events. Uh, we have forums where we have uh, candidates Mm -hmm. that we so do you support political parties or candidates? No, yes. no. no never. Just issues? Uh, issues uh, we advocate when we see that it's good for you, we advocate for it. If we don't study it, we don't, we are neutral, we are uh, actually, we, we have no opinion about it if we don't study it. So after we do extensive study, we make an opinion. And when we have an opinion, we advocate for it. So what are the structured information of San Jose Santa Clara for the league? What? The formation for uh, the whole league. For the whole league, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the leagues, I am, I, as I told you, I am Los Gatos, Saratoga, Montesirino, and Campbell. That's one league, and we have a league, San Jose Santa Clara, and the county uh, as a whole, we have uh, a council mm -hmm. we meet. So all the presidents of the five leagues in the Santa Clara County we meet and it's called Santa Clara Council. Mm -hmm. And when you are a member of the league, if you're a member of uh, the league that I'm president of, you're a member of that uh, county and uh, of the Bay Area League and you're a member of the State of California League and you're, um, you are a member of the National League. So your membership, it's a grassroots organization. Your membership is on all levels of uh, the league. Okay. So, well, and we, we work together. All the uh, Santa Clara County Leagues uh, work together. So as a league president, how much action can you take against particular policy or measure as a with, the, with all the members? Well... <laughs> it's uh, not uh, against or for. Okay, for any issue, we study it, uh, as I uh, mentioned before, extensively. So if we find that this is good for the area, we support it. Okay, for example, let me give you, uh, because I am the president of the uh, area, including Campbell, they have, we have Measure Q. From my league, only Campbell will be voting on it while uh, there is Morgan Hill, San Jose, Milpitas, and Santa Clara mm -hmm. will be voting on that issue in, on November 4. Uh, we studied, uh, this is about open space. It, is, uh, it was uh, initiated by uh, Open Space Authority, and it is about the land in this area and an unincorporated area. So we studied it and we found it's good for the people. So we uh, advise the people of Campbell to vote for it, Measure Q. So there's no action can be taken against anything. It just you have to study it and support it. We educate and inform the citizens. Inform they, make, they make their own decisions. Okay. So if we support an issue, 
we say that we support an issue, like in, in the coming elections. So what are some of the issues you're supporting right now or propositions? Right. Uh, there are six propositions that you'll be voting on this uh, November uh, 4. In two weeks. In two weeks. So uh, proposition one, we're neutral on it. It is the water bond measure, what, uh, meaning that we studied it, and actually we like it, but we have concerns. Mm -hmm. So we are neutral. We don't tell you to vote for it or against it. You can uh, read more about it. You go on all the propositions and all your candidates. We support. We are uh, co-sponsor of uh, SmartVoters.com. Dot org. Sorry, dot org. SmartVoters. Dot org. You go and seek all the information necessary for your area where you're voting. So, for. Uh, Proposition one, we say we are neutral because we have concerns about some a part of it. So we don't give an opinion. While on proposition two and proposition 47, we support them. So we say vote for proposition two and uh, proposition 47. And that will be your recommendation? It's That's just, our recommendation. That's and there is uh, proposition 45, 46, and 48. We have no recommendation, meaning we did not do a study on it. Oh, that's yeah. what happens. Yeah. And so what else we need to know about the November 4th election? Well, I can, there is easy voter guide. This mm -hmm. is very important. It summarizes. And uh, you have the books that you received in the mail. Read about all the propositions, all the measures. Uh, read about like your uh, candidates, right? The, uh, the California general election yeah. uh, booklet. Uh, inform yourself. Be an informed voter. And uh, when you're vo these are issues that will re uh, will <coughs> uh, will affect your life or your children's life and uh, be careful when you're voting it's not a matter of uh, just uh, <laughs> checking so, it it's so just this is read. something i want to mention to yes. the viewers that when i usually receive this it stays on the table for a few days uh -huh. and then i'll throw it away i have never read the whole thing not even once well, once and, you start reading you know, it, you'll enjoy it. You'll, exactly. You'll, you'll feel better when you are better informed. Yes. Let me summarize for you some of uh, what we're going to vote for about the proposition. Yeah, that's okay. very important for us to, see, to hear it today. So, I, although I'll mention the ones we... All, I'll mention all of them. And So, as I mentioned, Proposition one is funds for water supply, and we have no, uh, uh, we're neutral. Uh, it allows the state to sell 7.1 billion in a new bonds. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but you have to read why, How why it's needed. Know, there yeah. are, we have 425 million now, but uh, they need the money for, to do, especially with the drought and uh, what's going on with water, the water matters that we're really suffering from. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, there are consequences to this, how much it will cost us to pay back these bonds. Mm -hmm. The 7.1 uh, billion, of course, there is interest almost, it's doubling. So it's, uh, we're paying back 360 million per year. Wow. So you, you have to overweight. What, what's good for us? Is it maybe 360 is not too bad, but uh, can, we make, can we make these payments? So you have to read more about it. Mm -hmm. And be considerate. And considerate, right. Now, uh, proposition two, which we support, is uh, about the budget, how to balance it. How to balance it? Now we have good times, economical good times, and how to balance it in bad times. So we, the public, supposed to know how, how all that yes, stuff Yes, that's what you're voting for. Yeah. 
this is what's important, and I say this is the nucleus of democracy, that we have an opportunity to vote on issues that matters to us. It's not up to the legislatures to do all the decisions. Mm -hmm. About 100 years ago, um, people were thinking that there is a corruption in the legislature. And that's how uh, this came that uh, people can be involved in making and forming the law. And that's how propositions and measures came about, about 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. And people have been using it yeah. uh, since then. This is not an opportunity that all the states have. About 26 states have, have it wow. only. So we are very fortunate. And not all countries use this uh, system. So it is really, uh, we are fortunate to be able to do this. And this is real democracy. Yeah, that's interesting. So uh, for proposition two, uh, it takes from the funds and uh, it uh, make re reserves for bad time, I, I, as I for said. And there are, terms. of course, for every propositions, there are uh, pros and cons, and uh, there are, uh, you have to weigh what's good and what's bad. But for this one in particular, we say it's good for you, so vote for it. Okay. Proposition 45 is about healthcare uh, insurance rates. Mm -hmm. That's a very important one. Yeah, it, it creates new rules to change to healthcare insurance rates for individual and employer small group plans. While on the other hand, uh, that it says, uh, the people, you have to remember when you read about why it's good and why it's bad, these are biased opinions. Right. Because if they say vote for it, meaning that uh, they have an interest why you are voting for it. When they say against it, they have an interest why they're saying that. While the league does not have any interest when we say vote for it means it's good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, we don't have any recommendation, meaning we did not do extensive study. Okay medical safety lawsuits, and this is very hot on the issue. Uh, it is uh, about the medical negligence, is when doctor provides standard care that injures a patient. And uh, lawsuits about medical negligence can, negligence can involve economic damages and non-economic economic damages. Economic damages pay for the financial cost of the injury such as medical bills or a loss of income. State law limits non-economic damages which pay for pain and suffering 250,000. Wow. They're going to increase that if it passes. But there are consequences also if it passes. We, like in some other states, uh, like Massachusetts and uh, Florida, something like that passed and if affected the doctors uh, mm -hmm. that work there, so some doctors left. So we have to look at what's positive and what's negative. Yes, we want them to be uh, checked, that uh, um, it, to, to do testing for the doctors. Uh, so what's your recommendation on this proposition? We don't have any recommendation. Not this one. I can tell you what's good and okay. what's bad and you make your own decision. We have no recommendations. So 45 and 46, we have no recommendations. Is there an alternative system for voting that would ensure greater voter confidence and involvement? Yeah, you want me to finish 47 and 48? Go ahead, go ahead. Because oh, we, we, have we started uh, 47, reducing criminal penalties. This we say vote for it. 47 is important. It is about... Uh, uh, the crime, it reduces the penalty for certain non-violent felonies to misdemeanor. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we'll, uh, we'll be saving on uh, the prisons and jail expenses and all that. So it, we say vote for 47. 48 is Indian Gaming Agreement. Mm -hmm. um, you ha we have uh, two uh, tribes, you know that it's, um, 
Indian, uh, the Indian casinos, uh, the American mm -hmm. Indians. Uh, uh, yes, vote on it uh, allows North Fork to proceed with the casinos in Madera County and also prohibits Wayat from opening a casino in Humble, Humboldt uh, County, which is okay. uh, Yosemite. Mm -hmm. This will, uh, it's two tribes, one in uh, Yosemite and one in, uh, by uh, Fresno area. Mm -hmm. They were able to build casinos in uh, uh, non-Indian uh, uh, area and uh, operate together and uh, share the profits. So this is about the uh, propositions. Read about it. We have no opinion about 48. Okay. We do have two minutes left to tell us if there's any alternative system for voting. Alternative system yeah, to, for so voting? Yeah, so people to you ensure... Can vote by mail? What? By mail? <coughs> yes. You can vote in person. Uh, you can register... Uh, Today is, today is the 20th, today is the last day to uh, register to vote. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can uh, ask uh, b before five days from the, you can uh, mail uh, your, uh, to ask for uh, mail ballots. And on the day of election, you can take your envelope and just, uh, if it is by mail, you can drop it off there. That's excellent, that's beautiful. I uh, really appreciate all this information you shared with us. And I'm very sure a lot of people need to hear this. Yes. And it's very informative for me personally. I mean, this is nothing. We do extensive explanation, but I have to make yeah. it short. We, we can uh, take more time to do it, but obviously we're out of time today. Yes. Uh, hopefully we can meet. And uh, is there any speaker? Uh, you're going to speak next week about the voting on the 24th at the Culture Center? We have... Uh, we have pros and cons. Actually, now I'm going to a pros and cons in Campbell Library. Today? Today. Wow. And Busy we lady. have every evening, we have uh, either candidate forum okay. or pros and cons or combination. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking the time and being thank with you. us today. Thank it's, you for it having was me. our pleasure to have yes. you and uh, discussing very important issue thank that you. everybody should be aware of. Mm -hmm. And hope to see you again and good luck to you. And I say for everyone, please, please go vote. and vote. It's a privilege. Yes. Everybody should vote and, and it's a duty. should have it's a our duty. voice heard. Yes. It's very important for us. Well, thank you for watching us and hope to see you again next week. Have a nice evening. Well.